you are now listening to About That Business, hosted by Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an entrepreneur and personal coach who has helped people reach their fullest potential personally and professionally. Take it away, Rom. Welcome to Rom Wills About That Business. Always think ahead. And this is an important piece, right? This is an important piece. When you're in business, you can't really, you can't rest on your laurels. You cannot rest on your laurels, right? Especially if you in, if you got control, if, you, if you're the one responsible for how much money you're making and the growth of your business, you always got to think ahead. You got to think moves ahead. See, that's different from an employee mentality, the employee really don't have to think ahead. Many of them, many of them don't. That's why a lot of them get caught up. Um, you know, if there's a change in a job or something. And let's be real. Even with these days of many people getting laid off and everything, most most employees, most employees just need. They know they just need to do like a bare minimum. They need to meet expectations, as uh, some evaluations would say, right? They need to. They just need to show up. But when you're in business, I'm going to tell you what. That one week, you might make, say, $1,000, right? That next week, you might make 300 Then the next week after that, you might make 3000 Then the week after that, you might make 100 You got to think about that. Anything can throw you off, right? Anything, one simple thing. I'll, I'll share a story about myself, right? I remember the early days when my books were selling on Amazon, right? Um, this was about 2000, when was this? About 2005 or so, 2004, 2005, something around there, right? Now, I remember I was getting a steady amount of money on Amazon. Steady, it was steady, I could count on it. Cool. One month, I'm not sure what it was, I think it was a, bad, a badly placed review, Something like that. But it was like the spigot just stopped. I mean, it was a dramatic drop in the money I was making. And it t uh, luckily, I had some savings at the time and some other stuff. But it was just like, wow, just like that. And But part of the problem was I wasn't pushing the stuff like I needed to be pushing. I was like, oh, okay, this is a steady amount, right? I wasn't thinking ahead to the time when maybe that money ain't going to flow like that. You got to always think ahead, even with where everything I'm doing now. A lot of stuff I'm doing, like with subscription and everything, I'm constantly looking for the next thing. I'm constantly looking. There's a lot of stuff I have in place that all I had to do is push the button, literally. Like if something happens here, boom. If something happened with one of my channels, you know, they, you know YouTube decides they want to be on some demonetization thing, I already got the thing ready, right? When um, one example was when I was doing paper uh, pay on demand videos on YouTube and they changed that, I was able to shift over real quick because I already had something set up on another platform. You got to think ahead. You always got to think, OK, I'm going to keep this money flowing. One of the tricks to it is think about the bare minimum you need every month. Right. Think about the bare minimum you need every month to make. Right. And this, this this goes along right with savings, right? But you still you always like as an aside, don't you want to you don't want to get to the point you have to dip into savings. Savings is just there to, uh, for emergency. You still want to think in terms of making money. So you start thinking, okay, pay attention to what if you want some platform business. If you're in a mall, say you got a kiosk in a mall, right? You want to pay attention to that. You want to pay attention to foot traffic. And then, like, say you're in a mall and all of a sudden one of the anchor stores uh, goes out. Like, in, in my local mall, it has a Sears. And there's, al there's already several empty storefronts now in there, right? I mean, it, right now the mall only has uh, the only anchor. It, it has a Sears, so we already know what's happening there. And they've been talking about this particular Sears closing for a while, right? If that closes... You know, the thing, the per the people who are affected most 
I mean, the retail, the retail shops, they kind of all right because many retail shops build up their own clientele anyway. But the people affected most are anybody who has a kiosk, right? Because they, they are extremely dependent on traffic. Now, if someone has a kiosk in that particular mall, thinking ahead, they start, they already uh, scouting other locations. They taking some time in scouting other locations. If they got to have somebody work at their kiosk or something like that and say, all right, I'm going to drive to other malls and stuff. You start thinking that. You already start thinking about plan B, C, and D, right? Contingency plans. You don't want to be in a situation where you think this will last and all of a sudden it, it shifts. Like using the kiosk example in the um, anchor store, an anchor store can close, boom. All of a sudden it's like, oh, man. You know, you or you could be, it's kind of the same situation if you get a factory closing somewhere, right? And people see, oh, okay, yeah, that factory closed. Yeah, that put a lot of people out of business. But what about the stores, like the little uh, takeout food places that were right next to the factory that fed all the workers? Boom. So it's like you got to look at you got to look at all factors. You got to look at all the factors, look at all the trends and everything and think, all right, let me look ahead. Let me see what's going on. All right. Like I said, if something happened, I'm already got stuff. People don't know how many like websites and stuff I got. I just don't talk about because it's always it's already a situation where, all right, I can switch over. I can switch over here. Um, I can do this. And a lot of stuff, sometimes people, if they pay real close attention to what I do, and I've had some people actually come back to me and say that. They can say, you know, I see you already setting up some other stuff. It's like, yeah. That's part of the reason I did ROM TV. That's part of the reason I, I did ROM TV. Now, right now, is you know, I've got a modest amount of subscribers. But if it ever come down to a situation where I need to ratchet it up, it's, it's already in place. It's already in place. So anyway, that's it for now, y'all. I'll get back with y'all later. Let's go make that money.